All right, welcome back to the Blender 3 Doc Walk. This is the undo and redo document. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, jump in here. All right, this is a pretty cut and dry one. Um, so, undo, if you don't know it or if you haven't used undo uh, in most programs, is Control Z. So, I'm going to grab this cube, move it up here, and I'm going to hit Control Z to undo. There we go. It, it brought it back. It undid my action. Now, if I want to redo an action, it's Control Shift Z. So, Control Shift Z redoes uh, what what I had previously undone. Uh, I guess I should also probably mention that uh, that both of those, uh, Control Z and Control Shift Z. Oh my gosh. Well, let's. I wanted to have some visual flair there. Okay, so that Control Z and Control Shift Z undo and redo can both be accessed in the Edit drop down. Here's undo, here's redo, because I just redid what is essentially been rewritten as my first action. Uh, redo is no longer available. So um, you have to have an action that you've undone that can be redone to be able to redo something. So that's why uh, that's why redo here is not lit up. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, it, if you are used to a different key combination and you do want to change that, of course, you can go to uh, your preferences, edit preferences, um, go to key map and search for redo. There's redo. You can also search for undo and uh, and tweak those to whatever shortcut you, you find most useful to you. Uh, let's talk about uh, adjust last operation. I'm going to grab this guy and I'm going to size him up nice and big. Okay. Now, I do believe we've talked about this a few times before, but uh, as soon as you're done with an operation, you'll notice down here on the lower left hand side there, you will see a kind of a little uh, toggle menu here with the name of the action that you just performed right here. If I open it, uh, I have all of the properties of the resize action that I can kind of fiddle with before I actually decide to finalize my action. Once once I'm, you know, nice and good and set and I've got it perfectly aligned to exactly what I need, um, then I can go ahead and, and click out of it and, and that's my, my final my final thing there. Uh, you can also hit F9 and it will bring up the same thing only as an already open sort of uh, pop-up menu window here and then you can again tweak it to to better fit exactly what you would like but yeah f9 it's it's the exact same thing it's just uh a more direct <laughs> direct access to this right now exactly where my mouse is you just hit f9 and it and it f9 and it brings it up like that okay so that is adjust last operation if you want to hide your adjust last operation uh, automatic pop-up down here in the corner, like, you know, I sh just show you this. I'm going to move this guy a little bit, this guy down here. If you don't want that, uh, if you just want to hide that, if you're more comfortable with uh, just, you know, hitting F9 and, and using it like that, uh, you can hide that, the automatic pop-up one, uh, by just turning this off right here. Adjust last operation. Just turn that off and next time you perform an operation, um, uh, rotate. Okay. Uh, now nothing, it, it no longer appears down here in the left hand corner. So, um, you know, it's up to you. It's, it's a preferential thing. So, uh, just turn it off. If it, if you don't want it, if you don't feel like you need it, go ahead and turn it off. Um, adjust last operation, however, is extremely useful. I'm going to ditch this guy here and let's uh, turn adjust last operation back on and I'm going to drop a uh, the example they give in the documentation is a circle let's zoom in here and uh, you can adjust the number of vertices it has so if we bring this down to three that's the minimum number of vertices that, that a circle can have uh, you can see that it has a perfect uh, equilateral triangle here but circle isn't the only thing it's useful for. Um, just to kind of give you an idea, uh, torus. 
horses are pretty cool little guys and you can do a lot of crazy stuff with it you can you can do the same thing you can whip up a little kind of three-dimensional ish kind of tubular triangle here uh, you can change the number of segments so now it's kind of this really cool looking shape um, yeah so change oh yeah you can change change the radius inner and outer radius so uh, you can do something like that I mean so you know uh, adjust loss operation is, is actually pretty cool there's a lot of really useful things you can do with it um, just kind of wanted to show you a couple of them really quickly there uh, now you can come up here to edit and take a look at your undo history uh, you can see basically everything since you know you started the program up uh, I, I do think there's kind of a limit I can't remember uh, exactly what it is but um, you can kind of navigate through this now the cool thing about this is I can go back to like an, an earlier uh, an earlier edit right go there and it, it you know shows where I was at that point and if I go back and check out my undo history you can see that this little dot marks where I am this is almost like a little timeline of of things that I have performed in blender um, I can actually skip around you know go forward and backward uh, all I want um, and and it's all you know it's all there the way I've I've done it uh, however if I go back to whoops uh, let's go back to uh, one that we can see here um, well let's just go back all the way to the origin if I go back to something and then I perform an edit while I'm you know uh, while my white dot is at that point in this you know timeline of edits if I now perform an edit I'll, I'll uh, resize it or <laughs> rotate it whoops rotate it a little bit now if I go back into my undo history whoops <laughs> now if I go back into my undo history it has been totally truncated to that point to where I had my original I selected it and I rotated it and that's it everything else has been removed so just keep that in mind uh, your undo history is there to kind of skip around you know reorient uh, your bearings what you did last that sort of a thing but the second you make an edit on wherever you are in your history is going to truncate your undo history uh, at that point so everything you've done afterwards is is going to be completely washed clean uh, it's not going to exist anymore so just be careful uh, with with um, playing around with your undo you don't want to go back and and clear everything you've done and uh, you know have to redo a couple of hours of work so that is that now there is also repeat last and what repeat last does is it well just repeats your last action so let's say I uh, let's bring a Taurus in <laughs> our cool pyramidal I guess sort of Taurus here and let's look at it straight down I'm gonna what do we want to do with this guy I'm gonna grab it move it nope you know what let's do let's do something easy here uh, look at it from above I'm going to just simply move it to the right oh like a couple of meters okay all right now I'm going to perform a, a, a repeat last which is shift R and you can see every time I hit shift R it's gonna move it to the right a couple of meters as as my previous thing right has uh, as my one first action did right and I can undo all the way back now we can also go back up to edit and look at our well now we can't okay let's let's repeat a couple of those back oops wow I'm junking this up okay grab him I'm gonna move him here all right now if I do repeat R it's going to it's going to keep moving them in the same direction 
exactly the same way that I originally did. Now, if I go back up to edit and go down to repeat history, it's uh, got my repeat history here. <laughs> and, it, and it typically works the same way as, you know, as anything else, as, as the uh, undo history does. Let's get it back to the origin, get a good look from above, zoom in a little bit. Okay, so let's rotate, move, resize, rotate, move, resize. Now, if we go up to our um, repeat history, now I've got resize, move, rotate, resize, move, rotate. Okay, so that's our repeat history. And if I want to repeat any one of those moves, I can select it and it will perform that action as I had originally performed it at the time I performed it, if that makes sense. So, uh, all right. So that's repeat last and repeat history. Um, do keep in mind that when you close Blender, both your undo history and your repeat history will be cleared. So uh, just, I mean, that's kind of a given, but you know, just emphasizing it for anybody that doesn't know, for anybody that you know hasn't used programs like this before, that is something you might want to be aware of. So that was undo and redo. Uh, I will see you guys next time when we talk about the annotate tool. Again, thank you for watching. I really do appreciate it. It really does help the channel. Uh, please like, subscribe, and share it with anybody you might think this would help. See you guys next time.